Hi techies, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to talk about top Java best practices. Okay, the first one is use proper naming conventions. When you are declaring class, method or uh, variables, right? you should use meaningful naming conventions. Okay, second one is class members must be declared as private and class variables should be accessed privately. Third one is never leave a catch blocks empty. Okay, you should not leave catch blocks empty. Okay, you should print some exception or error. Fourth one is use string builder or string buffer instead of using string concatenation. Normally when we uh, do string concatenation, right? We'll do plus sign and we'll do that. That is not good practice. Okay. Use string builder or string buffer. Fifth one is it? using enhanced for loops instead of loops with counter. Okay. You should use latest for loop. Okay. Don't use old methodology. Okay. Sixth one is float or double. The right choice you have to make. You should not use by default float or by default double. Okay. And seventh one is avoiding memory leaks. Okay, when you declare any variable, okay, you should use finally method and you should uh, uh, make it null. Okay, don't leave that uh, uh, object or variable as is. Okay, and it causes memory leaks. And uh, in finally block, you can do garbage connections. Okay, unnecessary objects creation. When you have uh, object, right? You will create multiple times same object, but you won't uh, remove that object, or you can you won't make it null. So that this is also causes memory leakages. Okay. And ninth one is proper commenting. When you are doing coding, right? You do proper commenting to each method. Okay. Why you are declaring this method? Okay. When you are writing any complex logic, you should do proper commenting. What is this logic will do? Okay. Tenth one is proper handling of null pointer exception. Okay. When you when you doing some um, uh, logic in the programming, right? Normally without uh, uh, checking the object whether it is a null or not, you are going to retrieve the data. So that time what happen? It will throw null pointer exception. Always check null value for that object. Then only you do any action on that object. Okay, so I hope you understood all Java best practices. Okay, please like, share, subscribe to my channel. Okay, I will come up with new videos. See you soon.